But Ricky, we're going to go ahead and jump into our second portion of the interview. This is one of my favorite parts where I ask you 10 random questions about yourself and you just kind of like, you know, tell us, you know, whatever you want to tell us. And it's usually really fun. So here we go. Are you guys ready for the lightning round with Ricky Starks? Question number one, who is the funniest person backstage at AEW? Dang. Oh, my gosh. Um, Honestly, uh, Austin Gunn is pretty funny. Really? Yeah. How so? Austin, Austin Gunn is, re- he's just so, if you've ever watched his dad from the late 90s, he's a spitting image of his dad. Just so animated, so much energy. Um, I, I just, every time I talk to him, I'm just laughing. That or Mark, Mark Henry's pretty funny too. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, I don't think people know that about Mark, but yeah, he's, he's really, really funny. I think you can kind of tell, too, like from his personality, like you get glimpses of that, you know, here and there. Uh, You know, before we start, you know who else is funny? Who? Tony. Tony Khan is a he has a very keen sense of humor that a lot of people don't get to see. But he he makes some some uh, some jokes sometimes that catch me off guard. You're like, what? Yeah. (laughs) I've, I know what you're talking about because I've noticed it in the media and like the media conferences. Like he'll throw in like some funny lines where I'll be like, well, I didn't expect that coming. So I yeah. get what you mean by that. Yeah, I totally get it. Uh, question number two, what are your top three favorite restaurants? Chipotle. Uh... <laughs> oh, geez. Chipotle. <laughs> what do I like to eat? Uh, I like. <laughs> you're like chipotle 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 uh, chipotle chick-fil-a and tony romans oh nice okay three great options a uh, question number three if you had the chance to be on any reality tv show which one would it be Rose to the top hell yeah question number four if you weren't a professional wrestler what would you be doing <sighs> acting oh yeah question number five what's your worst travel story I try, I try not to have any bad ones just because I, I've been thankful for a lot. But probably the worst travel I ever had in my life was I was in the back of a, like a coupe pinto and my head was hitting the, the roof. We were driving through um, St. Louis and uh, I was with Tony Casino, a St. Louis wrestler, and he had a, like a really old pinto, like silver coupe. The back seat was so small and we were driving through snow. And we hit black ice. And when we hit black ice, we bumped it. Like the car jumped up off the road, went to a ditch and spun out. And I remember like in the moment being like, oh, yeah, this is it. This is what I knew. We hit a tree. The back of it hit a tree. It just smashed off the the rear bumper. We were able to drive home. But my neck the next day was so like just jacked up. that I was like, I'm never doing a, a car trip for 50 bucks ever again. Like no. an eight hour car trip that turned into 12. Oh my God. I can't even like it's and it's what's crazy. It's like it's such a norm. And like, I'm sure there's like so many stories like that. You know, obviously, we hear about like people traveling, you know, for hours to a show where they get paid so little. It's like, oh, it's the struggle, man. Yeah, it wasn't worth it. <laughs> no, and thank goodness that, you know, nothing serious ended up happening, but right. still, that's terrifying. Um, question number six Do you have any pre or post match rituals? My pre-match rituals, I do a lot of stretching, or at least stretching for like 30 minutes, especially after the injury. Um, I do a lot, lot of stretching. And uh, I usually will go off and find a little corner to myself with some headphones, listen to music, and try to zone in. That's, that's the way to go. After the match, I don't do anything. I just take my stuff <laughs> off and call it a day. You're like, I'm done and I'm going to Chipotle. Yeah. Going to Chipotle. <laughs> Question number seven, your current favorite fashion trend and your least favorite fashion trend. My least favorite fashion trend is the fanny pack. Uh, <laughs> and I as a wrestler. <laughs> yeah, I hate the fanny pack. Uh, man, my favorite, though, that's hard because there's so many. Right now, obviously, uh, Neutral Tones was was in and it's making a comeback. Uh, I'm very... I like the modern style of, of trends. If, if you're wondering, it's, um, you know, Kanye does a lot of modern type of uh, clothing. And, and I do like that. It's very basic, very minimal. That's my favorite type of. Oh, like a minimalist thing. style. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Very, very so. It's very in right now, for sure. Question number eight. Uh, who was your first celebrity crush? My first celebrity crush was definitely Britney Spears. 
my current favorite celebrity crush is Zendaya. Oh, yeah. Oh, she dresses amazingly, too, by the way. I love her style. <sighs> Me and her. Just... <laughs> you guys would be perfect. You guys would be perfect. I could see you on, like, the cover of, like, Vogue or something. Yeah. <laughs> uh, question number nine. What's one thing fans don't know about you? <sighs> That's a hard one. Um, I think if I had to say, uh, I actually took two years of culinary. Oh, nice. So, yeah, I, I, I can cook a little bit. But the issue is if I'm in the mood to cook. Do you have a specialty, different. like something you're really good at cooking? Uh, no, not really. Were you going to um, say soup? I felt like you were going with like soup or something. I was going to say spaghetti, but oh. <laughs> that's close enough. Turkey spaghetti. No, I don't have a, a real specialty. I did, I did cook raspberry cheesecake muffins. With the graham cracker crust. That was like a big thing I used to cook a lot. Well, it sounds delicious. It sounds delicious. It's so good. <laughs> and my last question, question number 10. Uh, what are your top three favorite TV shows of all time? Well, it definitely isn't Lost. I know that really stirred up a lot of dirty waters about that one. Um, That's a good show. Terrible ending. Thank you. I Terrible ending. killed about it. My, my top three favorite shows would probably be I Love Weeds. Nip Tuck and, uh, and Curb Your Enthusiasm. Awesome, awesome. Three great shows right there. Ricky, thank you so much for doing this interview with me, for playing the lightning round with game with me. It was so much fun to get to talk to you here today. Um, before we go, please feel free to plug in anything you'd like to plug in. Yeah, well, you can find me on Twitter at Starkman Jones. Uh, my Instagram is pretty nice too, visually. That's at Starky Baby. <laughs> and uh, you can catch me on AEW Dynamite every Wednesday and Rose at the Top following every Dynamite on Wednesday and Rampage 2 every Friday night, 7 p.m. Third, 7 p.m. Eastern time. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> I've been to so many places. My time zones are so jacked up. I get it. I get it 100%. Ricky, thank you so much for doing this interview. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to give this video a like. Subscribe to the channel. All of the links are going to be in the description box below so you guys can follow Ricky. And until next time, I'm Denise Salcedo. This is your FTW champion, Ricky Starks, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye, everybody.